We're going to try 34. What section are we in, buddy? Anybody know what section we're in in the textbook? Doesn't matter. I'll look it up. We're on 34. 5.1. Let me put that up here just so I know that. What, what's 34 say? 1 over 1 minus sine plus 1 over sine plus 1. Plus 1 over sine plus 1. I'm going to rewrite that as 1 plus sine just so it looks like the other one a little bit more. Okay? We got two separate fractions. So hopefully we're all okay here with getting a common denominator. Can we handle that? That's what we want to do here. And so you got two fractions separate, get a common denominator. Just go for it. And we get common denominators by multiplying. So we have the same thing in the denominators. Because one has a minus and one has a plus here, we've got to multiply both of them by each other, really. So this fraction over here, I need to multiply by 1 minus sine of x. Okie dokie. And this fraction here, well, over 1 minus sine of x, right? And then over here, we got to multiply by 1 plus sine of x over 1 plus sine of x. Okay? Now, this might look a little scary, but remember how things work here, students. The top of this first fraction is just going to be 1 plus sine of x, right? Uh, what's a special word for 1 plus sine of x and 1 minus sine of x? What are they? Conjugates. Conjugates. Excellent. And when you multiply conjugates, you just get both things squared, subtracted. So we get 1 squared, which is 1, minus sine squared, which is sine squared. And if you know your trig identities, you hopefully are thinking automatically that 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared. Okay? We're also going to have, hold on, we're not done. We have this on the other side, right? I put them together because they have the same denominator. Everybody okay with this? Yes. So look, we didn't do anything fancy. I just got a common denominator. That's it. What's up? So like you said that when you're adding fractions, you can't put them When you're adding fractions, you can't put them together. What are you talking about? <laughs> if they have the same denominator, you can. So the denominator of this fraction is going to be 1 minus sine squared. And the denominator of this fraction is going to be 1 minus sine squared. Since they have the same denominator, put them together. Okay? But what's that whole top reduced down to? 2, 1, 2. And the bottom is cosine squared. And that's kind of okay to leave it just like that. But we said 1 over cosine is secant. So this really becomes, let's do it over here. A 2 secant squared of x. Simple enough? How do I get from what to what? To this? Oh, because 1 over cosine is secant. So look, this is the same thing. So this, I feel like a lot of problems stem from our fraction knowledge. This is the same thing as 1 over cosine x times 1 over cosine x, right? And there's a 2. It can just be pushed out front, really. That's how fractions work when you multiply them. So it's a 2 times a secant times a secant. Is that okay? Like this is a secant, this is a secant. 